want to buy some lemonade? I'd love to, but you know what? Let me do you a favor. I was gonna sell this semen, but you can take some for yourself. It's probably worth more than the lemonade. I probably would have used the money to buy lemonade anyways. Cutting out the middleman. Recession? Where? Boo. <laughs> Jeez, she didn't have to throw it at us. That was like five dollars worth of man creep. I don't think we should sell it anyway. I mean, you mixed up your sperm with mine. We're brothers. Our sperm is the same. That's... whatever. It is attracting flies. You know what? Fuck it. I ain't walking to the sperm bank with no skunk sperm. Let's throw it into the sewer. Maybe it'll impregnate a gator, and I can have a half-man, half-gator son to ride to work. Hey Gary, check it out. I downloaded porn from the 50s. Want to check it out? No. Those women are old enough to be our grandparents. Or dead. Besides, 50s tits look weird. Tits are like Bruce Willis movies. No matter how bad I know they'll be, if they come out, I have to see them. Boom. We have to go to work. Ah, yes. What's up, boss? You're fired. What? Look, Gary, I hired you because they say that you're the best hitman in all of South Florida. You said you wanted me to be an exterminator. I was using that as a euphemism for killing. The extermination business is just a cover for my crime syndicate. Don't you get it? Please, boss. This is the best job I've ever had. Get real, Gary. There ain't a clean job around for folks like you. So unless you want to kill people or suck dicks, you're fucking fired. Listen, you're a great cleaning man, you are, but the problem is not in your ability to clean, but something much larger than that, Gabe. I'm all ears, Liam. Tell Gabe what's troubling your little head. It's about the time you had your friends over and you had our dogs fight one another to the death. In fact, he even took bets on the fight. And didn't I let Liam win his beak? You, you did. Gabe gave Liam a piece of the action. That's the kind of guy he is. You tested a fertility drug of my wife. Well, the experiments wouldn't have worked if I'd used myself. Needed a young lady. She's lactating blood! That'll stop after the eighth trimester. And you promised to get my daughter back from that Czechoslovakian pimp, remember? You traded her to pay off your gambling debts. 
Hey, Liam, that is a work in progress. What's with the doubt? Gabe, I have the utmost confidence in you, but I'm gonna need you to leave the house. I mean, my father is sick and he thinks you're a praying man to send back from the future to eat his head. You want me to be your gardener? No, just leave. Have a good one. Oh, and Liam, if you really miss your daughter, keep in mind that your wife will literally explode with babies soon. You'll be like, what? Too many babies. And I'll be like, nah. Gabe? Right. I'm ghost. I got fired today. Me too. Guess the world ain't ready for out-of-the-box thinkers like us. Maybe. One day, all those people will look up at the box they've been thinking in and realize it's a big coffin under six feet of compost on fire. And we'll be thinking on the outside, laughing. I'll probably be playing the guitar. And you'll play that weird squeezy thing. The accordion? The accordion. Boom. And we're back on top. Not really. But it's good that you're optimistic. I tried applying to Dunkin' Donuts on the way home, but they told me that I didn't have enough experience. Really? Jeez. What has the recession done to us? Dunkin' Donuts is the job you get if you don't have experience. I went in there and the guy didn't know what a bear claw was. We could go back to being hitmen. That job is recession proof. Nah. Turns out it's pretty easy for people to identify us when we always wear gas masks. Even when we wear ski masks over our gas masks? Just give up on the hitman thing, alright? Isn't there a better way to channel your unparalleled rage? A kindergarten teacher. I'll teach kindergarten. Go busy yourself elsewhere while I look through the wanted ads. Sounds good. I'll go read some book. Don't you mean read some books or read a book? No, I'll read some of a book, but not all of it. Gabe, did you pay the water bill? No need. I am stealing water from the neighbors. I thought, why'd you settle for cable? Let's steal the whole domestic package up in here. Boom. I'm a fiscal genius. You cannot steal water! But I do. At least I don't steal electricity. Well, that's good. Some Armenian guy on a hamster wheel provides our electricity. He's the exact opposite of neighborly to do that! What do you care? It's just some old guy on a catheter. As far as I'm concerned, if your body's plumbing stopped working, you don't deserve your regular plumbing. I won't argue with you anymore. You're so stupid you think Space Invaders is a survival horror game. Ooh, wow, did it take you all night to come up with that one? Just muzzle yourself for a bit, okay? Hey, uh, sorry for barging in like this. The door was unlocked. Are you guys fumigating? No, just... I... Have we met? No, I just moved into the house next door. My uncle left it to me. He just passed away. I'm so sorry. He left me a house. We were just going to order pizza. Would you like to join us? Allow us to properly welcome you to the neighborhood? Okay, I'm Mary. I'm... <laughs> Gary. Gary Gas Mask. This is my brother, Gabriel. Boom. Oh, you both wear gas masks? Our mother insisted from the day we were born that we protect ourselves from the various diseases and pestilence the world has to offer. Why would she use so much fear-mongering on children? I don't know. You could dig her up and ask her. I'll order the pizza. Shall I? Uh, what do you like on it? Nah, you'll think it's weird. Try me. I really like pineapple and pepperoni. No way! That's my favorite type of pizza. Oh wow. Gary, you're probably sporting a Woody right now because some chick likes to put weird crap on her pizza too. Hey, 
You know, Gleason. Oh, good. Now I know to keep playing video games. I hate Glee. Ow. 30 minutes or it's free. So how do you like suburban living? Enough. I lived in an apartment in Fort Lauderdale till my asshole boyfriend kicked me out. Bastard! He used to be an ice cream man, but after the recession cost him his job, he started hitting the bottle pretty hard. Drunks. <laughs> um, I know this is kind of awkward, but can I use your bathroom to shower and brush my teeth? My water won't work for some reason. Oh, you betcha. I better get that. Okay, show to the bathroom. Here you go, the bathroom. My domain. You're a plumber. No, a maid. I was the best damn maid in town. But then I sold my employer's daughter to a pimp. These are hard times. Yeah, okay. Do you spit or swallow? What? Do you brush your teeth? Do you spit out the toothpaste or swallow it? If you're gonna spit it into the sink, make sure you wash out the basin. Don't want it getting all congealed and nasty. Right. Also, when you suck a guy's dick, do you ingest his semen or do you regurgitate it? Because I'm writing a paper. <laughs> You're acting like that sexual assault, that sexual harassment. Making an ass out of yourself? Probably. Good. That'll make me look better. I'm going in. Pace yourself. She'll probably want you to eat her out first. Here, take some protection. Yeah, suit yourself. How's the water, Mary? Do you need anything? Anything at all? Nah, I guess a little mood lighting wouldn't kill her. Her ex-boyfriend took the TV. We're gonna go get it. Holy shit, we hit something. No, oh, no worries. Yeah, it's just our bastard red-headed stepbrother, Garth Gas Mask. If I'd have seen him, I'd have hit the accelerator. Well, you guys take me to the hospital. Oh, wow. Well. The child friggin' prodigy can't get up after a vehicular collision. Oh, so lacking vision in my left eye. You're not the only one with problems, you know. We're unemployed. If you guys weren't so stubborn, you can work at my company. We hate your company. You made that clear when you blew up eight of my delivery trucks. It was an act of self-defense. You don't need to hate me because I started a multi-billion dollar company when I was ten. Garth, we don't hate you. But if you were on fire, I wouldn't piss on you to put you out. I'd wait until you had burnt to death and then piss on you to save any nearby shrubs from being burnt. Boom. Where are you guys going in such a hurry? I'm off to have a showdown with an ice cream man so I can stick my elbow inside of his ex. If you want to make it with a girl so badly, I've got like eight hookers at my mansion that live in hookers. Splenda has a nurse's degree. Don't tempt us with your golden calves. My calves are made of bone. We really hit you hard this time, huh? You guys should really join forces with me. Check out my new invention, the Slapmaster 3000. Now bitches be knowing their place from up to four feet away. Taste the pain, taste the pain, taste the pain, taste the pain. That's enough! Call me nostalgic, but I still like to punish my hoes the old-fashioned way. They'll be coming for the cognizant soon. We better skedaddle. I'm all for miraculously getting you laid, but you just met this chick and you're going over to her ex-boyfriend's house to get her TV? Come on, man, that's boyfriend work. You shouldn't be doing this without the fair exchange of sex. Or at least a lid job. What's that? When you fuck a chick in the eyelid. What? It's an acquired taste. Yeah, maybe it's acquired in prison. God, I wish that semen thing had worked out. Selling semen would have combined my two favorite things in the world. 
Masturbation and capitalism. I'm getting stiff just thinking about it. Look, when we get there, don't go ape shit on the guy, all right? You wouldn't have brought someone as deadly as me if you didn't think this was gonna get bad. No, I didn't want to leave you alone with Mary. Whatever. This guy is an ice cream man. This will get ugly. Ice cream men have the highest homicide rates of any occupation. Are you guys terrorists? Or is you just here to spray for bugs? Either way, Johnny Watt should probably get his underwear out of the microwave. We're friends of Mary's. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? We're here for the goddamn TV! Oh, yeah? Yes, now give it! Oh. You touch one hair on his head, and I will tear off your leg and stump fuck you as you bleed to death. Johnny Wad is the best damn ice cream man this side of Florida. I don't care. What's Johnny Wad's is Johnny Wad's, and Johnny Wad ain't gonna give up without a fight. You must be yanking my chain, cracker. That is obviously a water gun. Filled with pesticide. Well, I hope it was worth it to see your brother get paralyzed. Ikamate wina. What'd you just say? You heard me. Sounds like you said the Asker man's code for parlay. Two years ago, I ran my hatchback into a Mr. Safi truck. We got into a bare-knuckled boxing match. I managed to incapacitate him, and he tapped out. He gave me a free soft serve and taught me the Ice Cream Man's parlay code. Now you have to let go of my brother fair and square and fight me. You do realize I get to choose the method of fighting. As per the Ice Cream Man's code. Johnny Wad respects someone who took down Mr. Softy himself. Johnny Wad respects you. Johnny Wad's gonna give you your duel. We'll be fighting using Finnish fork fighting techniques. Meaning you can't use your hands. I love it when a plan comes together. So he's dead, huh? Yeah. Boom. Can't wait to see the look on Mary's face. You're gonna be neck deep in this lady. Oh. Our house is on fire. And Mary was inside. That's hilarious. homeless and the only girl that ever understood me is burnt to a crisp. If you don't mind some burning dick scratches, we might be able to dig her out of the rubble. She'll be hot to trot. Get it? What's wrong with you?
that you get a gas mask. Johnny Watt always gets his man. <laughs> Come out to play! Johnny Wad has come here for his revenge. Now where's my girlfriend? She's dead. Well, looks like she bet on the wrong horse. I'd have just hit her in the mouth every now and then. Well... Hmm. You are so fucking dead! Ah, my shins! I ain't an ice cream man anymore. Dear Mr. Neeson, we have your daughter. If you do not bring me the head of Gabriel Gasmask, I will kill her. You have until tomorrow night. No funny stuff. XO, XO, XO. The Czechoslovakian film. Why are you trying to kill me? Because my daughter got kidnapped because of you! Are you still mad about that? The pimp said that if I don't give him your head by tomorrow night, he's gonna kill her! Well, nobody knows what my head looks like. Good point. Boom. Boy, what a day. What a day, what a day, what a day. I take it as a sign. We need to throw off this oppressive way of life. What do you mean? I mean that wearing these goddamn gas masks has done nothing for us. I say we take them off. You with me? On three. One. Two. Three. <gasps> Breathe it, Gary. Breathe that fresh air. <coughs> Gabe? Gabe, I don't feel so good. Oh, oh boy. Oh, dear. Oh. Gabe, we run in opposite directions. We'll meet on the other side of the earth. Goodbye, brother. Bye. Ah, oh, what it. the fuck? Ah, yeah.